Welcome to our SBI Securities Weekly Market Podcast. Uh, today we would be discussing what to expect in Nifty and Bank Nifty from here on, along with the key levels for both the indices. Uh, we'll also be discussing on uh, key sectors and stocks that uh, uh, could make a move from here on in the coming week. Uh, what a fantastic December it has been for the markets. Uh, for the week, Nifty and Bank Nifty ended with gains of 1.5% apiece. But uh, since the rollover has just happened, let's discuss a bit uh, on the rollover side uh, before moving on to the price action. Uh, in the December series, Nifty Futures witnessed an impressive surge of over 8%, uh, which is the highest monthly gain since February 2021. That is on an expiry to expiry basis. Uh, with the index uh, concluding at levels of 21,942 after navigating a range of nearly 1,500 points. If you have to look at the rollover for the Nifty Futures, uh, it stood at uh, 79.54, uh, surpassing both the previous month's figure of 73.06 and the average rollover of the last three months, uh, which is around 78.66. Uh, the number of shares rolled increased to 138 lakhs as compared to 107 lakhs last month. Also, the rollover cost was higher at 0.76% as compared to last three months average of 0.63, uh, which adds to the bullishness. Uh, Bank Nifty Futures has uh, show, showcased a notable outperformance uh, compared to frontline indices, witnessing a robust surge of 9.14% in the December series. Uh, the rollover for Bank Nifty Futures uh, remained flat at 80.80. Uh, coming to the macro factors, uh, over the past week, dollar index has weakened further, uh, falling below 101 levels, along with the US 10-year bond deals comfortably trading below 3.9 as well. Uh, Brent crude is also displaying stability, trading in the range of $79.80 a barrel. Uh, coming to a quick check on the global markets, uh, in line with our expectations, the S&P 500 is on an uptrend and looking, uh, continuing to surge higher. Uh, we feel that uh, the index can further move towards the levels of 4,900-4,930, while on the downside, 4,700 is expected to provide support during this period. Uh, now coming to our markets, going forward, 21,500-21,550 zone would act as an important support and till this zone holds, uh, the upside could continue towards 21,900-22,000 levels. Only a correction below 21,530, the index could witness a pullback towards 21,430-21,380 zone. Uh, coming to the OI data, that is uh, from the weekly perspective, uh, for next, uh, we, uh, next week's series, that is, notable call open interest is observed in 21,800 call, followed by the 22,000 strikes. While on the put side, noteworthy open interest is observed in 21,700 and 21,500 strikes. Uh, this indicates that the index is likely to encounter an immediate hurdle within the 22,000-22,050 zone. Uh, conversely, the zone of 21,500-21,550 is likely to provide cushion in case of any immediate decline. Uh, India VIX continued its positive trajectory for the third consecutive month. Uh, marking a significant surge of over 19% in December and achieving its highest closing uh, in the last 10 months, uh, surpassing the levels of 15. Uh, looking ahead, the immediate hurdle for India VIX is projected in the zone of 17.3-17.5. Uh, any sustainable breakthrough above the levels of 17.5, uh, the index could continue the on the upside uh, towards the levels of 19.4 and 21.6 in the short term. Conversely, on the downside, 14, 13.8 zone is positioned as the crucial support for the index. Uh, just to share one more thing, it's not that India VIX is uh, moving up implies a fall in Nifty, uh, just that the trajectory and the range of VIX is slowly, slowly shifting upwards ahead of the budget and the general elections, uh, which are just uh, 4 to 5 months away. Also, rising VIX uh, does not imply going short in Nifty. Uh, the range for the index uh, for the year uh, could be 10 on the downside and around 18 on the upside. Uh, coming to Bank Nifty, uh, the zone of 47,700-47,800 is likely to act as a support and till the time this zone holds, uh, the index can move upwards towards the levels of 48,850-49,000 levels. In case 47,700 breaks, the index can retest its next support placed at 47,300. 
Uh, for bank nifty if you see the oi data uh, significant oi built up is witnessed in uh, 47 48500 and 49000 calls and on the put side it's mainly seen in 48200 and 48000 strikes implying a near term range of 47600 and 48900 for the banking index uh, now coming to sectors and stocks in momentum uh, potential outperforming sectors based on rollover data uh, so we expect uh, banking, metal, pharma, uh, healthcare, FMCG, oil and gas and consumer durables to do good. While uh, stock specific action is expected in Bajaj Auto, Tata Motors, uh, Aisha Motors, Hero Motor Corp, Mahindra and Mahindra, uh, saw uh, positive momentum continuing. FMCG pack saw healthy buying uh, the likes of Nestle, uh, Hindustan Unilever, Britannia, Tata Consumer performing well yesterday and continue their outperformance in the coming week as well. Uh, from the broader market, uh, bullish setup was observed in the likes of uh, Coal India, Mahindra and Mahindra, NTPC, Power Grid, Tata Motors, Bharti Airtel, Hindalco, Apollo Hospital, Kotak Bank, Indusin Bank, Reliance, Grasim, Titan, Ultra Chemco, Sale, Bail, MRF, N NMDC, uh, Petron and Bharat Forge, Oberoi Reality, AU Bank, Persistent, Sun TV, Hindustan Copper, Hudco. National Aluminium, KEI, IEX, Jumble Fertilizer and NBCC. Uh, all these stocks witness positive traction uh, on the technical front. Lot of these stocks within the future segment have witnessed excellent rollover uh, going into the January series as well. Uh, coming to the FII DI data, uh, for the week if you see in the cash segment, FII is bought to the tune of 8648 crores while DI is bought to the tune of 665 crores. FII long short ratio for index futures remains stable at an healthy 69.5% uh, at the beginning of the fresh series. Uh, that's all for the week's episode of SBI Securities Weekly Market Pulse. Uh, wishing you all an excellent weekend ahead. Uh, we hope you enjoyed listening to our podcast and are finding it useful for your trading decisions. Kindly do subscribe to the channel uh, for such updates and interesting insights. Also do share it with your friends and relatives. Until we meet next time, happy trading and stay safe. Thank you. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.